morning students today we see about the prawn culture okay 11th standard zoology 12th unit prawn culture okay in previous class we see about the aquaculture what is aquaculture aquaculture means that uh, culturing of water related products that is called as the aquaculture for example fish culture prawn culture then uh, pearl culture these are all called as the aquaculture okay in previous class we see about the fish culture isn't it yes in previous class we see about the what is meant by fish culture then what are uh, then we see about the lack culture also then this fish culture is aquaculture is characterized into classified into three categories what are they fresh water aquaculture brackish water aquaculture then marine water aquaculture then we see about the fish culture then how what are the characteristics of the cultivable places then types of cultivable fishes then then we see about the <coughs> management of fish farm that is breeding types of breeding natural breeding and induced breedings are there then fish seeds then we see <coughs> <coughs> how we uh, how we cultivate the fish hatching pit nursery pond then rearing pond stocking pond then harvesting then finally we see the composite fish farming composite fish farming means different varieties of fishes are cultivated in the same pond that is called as the composite fish farming mixed fish farming okay then exotic fishes what is meant by exotic fishes the imported fishes are called as the exotic fishes then disease management then what are the economic importance of fish okay today we see about the prawn culture <coughs> most important aquatic crustacean is prawn which is widely cultured prawn flesh is palatable and rich in glycogen protein with low fat content okay the um, prawn is very much rich in Uh, very much rich in glycogen and protein okay it contain the low fat content okay then the types of prawn fishery shallow water prawn fishery it is located on the west coast restricted to shallow waters then estuaries estuaries and backwaters are saline lake prawn fishery estuaries means what is meant by estuaries in previous class i said estuaries means that uh, lake and uh, sea are joined in one place that is called as the estuaries kadalum aarum kalakkira edathukku per da enadhu estuaries okay and backwaters are saline lake prawn fishery the area of production of prawns are the backwaters seen along the western coast ennur pulikad chilka lake and estuary of ganga and brahmaputra rivers okay then the fresh water prawn fishery fresh water prawn fishery here the prawns are caught from the rivers and lake throughout the india this is called as the fresh water prawn fishery then marine prawn fishery here most of the marine prawns are caught along the indian coast that were belonging to the family penedie okay so these are the types of prawn fishery what are the types shallow water prawn fishery then estuaries and backwater prawn fishery then freshwater prawn fishery then finally marine water sorry marine prawn fishery okay next we see about the what are the species of prawns are here okay here a number of species of prawns are distributed in water resources such as penis indicus penis monodon metapenis dobsoni and macrobrachium rosen belgi okay these are the species of prawns in uh, prawns we are cultivated in this area okay so what are they penis indicus penis monodon metapenis dobsoni and macro brach macrobrachium rosen belgi okay macrobrachium rosen belgi these are the species of prawn next we see about the culture of fresh water prawn how we how uh, the fresh water prawns are cultivated okay <coughs> here the macrobrachium rosen rosen belgi see the figure 12.10 Okay, this is the macrobrachium rosen belgi okay this is the macrobrachium rosen belgi here is commonly seen in rivers okay this macrobrachium rosen belgi is commonly seen in rivers fields and low saline estuaries okay this prawns are collected from ponds river and paddy field okay paddy field means nama vayalla kuda indha type of prawns enna irukum 
கிடைக்கும் ஓகே ஆர் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபர் டு த டேங்க் விச் ஆர் ஏரியேட்டட் ஃபார் ஃபெர்டிலைசேஷன் ஒன் பேர் ஆஃப் ப்ரான் ஆர் கெப்ட் இன் எ செப்பரேட் டேங்க் ஓகே ஃபார் ஃபெர்டிலை ஃபார் ஃபெர்டிலைசேஷன் ஒன் பேர் ஆஃப் ப்ரான்ஸ் ஆர் கெப்ட் இன் எ செப்பரேட் டேங்க் ஆஃப்டர் மேட்டிங் வாட் இஸ் மீன் பை மேட்டிங் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் இஸ் த கப்ளிங் ஓகே கப்ளிங் மீன்ஸ் த மேல் ப்ரான் இஸ் கம் க்ளோசர் வித் த ஃபீமேல் ப்ரான் ஓகே ஹியர் த எக்ஸ் ஆர் லேட் தென் ஸ்பானிங் டேங்க்ஸ் ஆஃப் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் சைஸஸ் சுட் பி ப்ரிப்பேர்ட் வித் ப்ராப்பர் ஏரியேஷன் ஹியர் த டெம்பரேச்சர் சுட் பி மெயின்டைன் அட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் டிகிரி செல்சியஸ் டு தேர்ட்டி டிகிரி செல்சியஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் த பிஹெச் ரேஞ்ச் வில் பி செவன் டு எயிட் சுட் பி மெயின்டைன் இன் த ஹேச்சிங் டேங்க் here the eggs hatch into the first and second stage larva the artificial feed is supplied the young one of 5 cm that is 60 days old can be reared in fresh or slightly brackish water ponds and paddy field here the harvesting of prawns can be done twice in a year okay harvesting can be done in twice in a year or year la rendu vaati idha harvest pannuva okay so next the culture of marine prawn first we see the culture of freshwater prawn next we see the culture of marine prawn here the several factors that determine the success of marine prawn culture includes the selection of site water quality first we have to uh, select the site okay then we have to check the water quality then soil quantity and availability of seed okay seed means that uh, feeding property okay so that here the preparation of farm how we want to prepare the farm here the for the preparation of ponds for algal growth and for the subsequent stocking of prawn it is essential to drain off the water and sun dry the bottom followed by light till tiling agricultural lime should be applied to absorb excess carbon dioxide and to supply calcium which is required for molting here the fertilizers like rice bran bran poultry and cattle dung are used to increase the fertility of the soil here the prawns are commonly caught in craft and gears using different types of nets such as cast net bag net drag net travel net and barrier net preservation of prawns is done by peeling and divining or by cooking and peeling okay how it will be preserved peeling and divining or by cooking and peeling okay so this is the preparation of farm next we see about the pearl culture what is mean by pearl pearl is one kind of bead isn't it yes muttu okay here the pearl is a white highly shining globular concretion found within the shell of an oyster edukulla la irukum inda pearl oyster okay the shell of an oyster here the pearl oysters are sedentary animal in india it was cultured for the first time in the year underline that 1973 at thootukudi <coughs> here the pearl oysters are found along the coast of kanyakumari and in the gulf of kutch high quality pearls are obtained from the pearl oysters of genus pink tada okay from this species only high quality pearls are obtained okay so underline that genus pink tada that can be cultured in the salinity range of this type of this variety of uh, pearl can be oysters can be cultured in the range salinity range will be 30 30 pot per 1000 okay so ppt 30 ppt in rack raft and along line method here the fresh water bivalve lamellian is also used in the artificial pearl culture mostly the pearl oysters inhabit the ridges of rocks or dead corals forming extensive pearl bank these pearl beds produce less best quality of pearl called the linga pearl linga pearl okay underline that linga pearl then next how the pearl will be formed in the oyster okay so we see the pearl formation when a foreign particle accidentally enter into the space between the mantle and shell of the oyster it adheres to the mantle okay then the next the mantle epithelium what is mean by epithelium it is a smooth layer okay it is a smooth layer it function is absorption okay so here the mantle epithelium uh, encloses it's like a sac and stop
a concentric layer of nacre around in a around it as a defensive mechanism here the nacre is secreted continuously by the epithelial layer of the mantle and is deposited around the foreign particle and over a period of time the formation of repeated calcium carbonate make the hard and glossy pearl when the pearl enlarges the oyster dies the shell is then carefully open and the pearls are manually separated and graded okay see the figure 12.11 okay see here first the foreign particle that entered into the oyster and the oyster kula or foreign particle enter on one it will secrete one Uh, it will secrete one fluid that is called as the nacre okay here the, this is the mantle this is the foreign body that enter into the what is that that enter into the oyster okay this is the mother of pearl okay that is called as the nacre will secreted okay then the mantle epithelium <coughs> the mantle epithelium will be formed uh, formed through the cell okay then next the next then now the pearl will be matured okay pearl will be matured means the oyster will be dyed okay oyster will be dyed at the one particular stage okay then the pearl will be degraded from that oyster okay so see this is the cell exterior and this is the cell interior then this is the molluscus molluscus spot means inside one epithelial uh, epithelium layer is formed that is called as the molluscus spot here only the pearl will be there okay so that here already i said when a foreign particle accidentally enter into the space between the mantle and the cell of the oyster it adhere the mantle okay then finally we get the pearl okay then next composition of pearl here the pearl comprises of water organic matter calcium carbonate and the residue okay what are the composition here water organic matter calcium carbonate okay calcium carbonate and the residue okay then next here water water 2 to 4 percentage of water is there okay water 2 to 4 percentage and the organic matter is water is 2 to 4 percentage and the organic matter 3.5 to 5.9 percentage and calcium carbonate 90 percentage calcium carbonate is present in the pearl okay then remaining residue is 0.1 to 0.8 percentage okay <coughs> then next so that here the pearl comprises of water organic matter and calcium carbonate okay and remaining the residue particle okay next we see the quality of pearl okay next we see the quality of pearl here the pearl obtained are of available shapes okay the pearls obtained are of available shapes and sizes they may be white or cream red color pearls also there or pink red in color pearls also there okay the spherical pearls of rainbow color are rarely found okay this is the rarely found pearls what is the shape spherical pearls of it is in a rainbow color okay the best quality of pearl is obtained from marine oyster okay best quality is obtained from the marine oyster here the pearl obtained from fresh water bivalves are not as valuable as those obtained from the marine oysters okay uh, fresh water land kadaikka kudiya pearl enad kadaiyadhu not valuable when compared to the marine oyster okay so these are the pearl culture okay so the pearl culture and composition of pearl then how we check the quality of pearl okay marine oyster only produce the quality valuable uh, valuable pearl okay the next we see about the animal husbandry and management what is mean by animal husbandry <coughs> animal what is mean by animal husbandry namma veetila valakkukodiya aadu maadu koli these are called as the animal husbandry okay here the animal husbandry is the practice of breeding and raising the livestock cattle like cows buffalo and goats and birds etc okay that are useful to human being yes isn't it if uh, if you grow a um, 
house uh, sorry if you grow a cows in your home means what are the economic products we get from the cow milk and dairy products isn't it yes so that here it is very much useful to the human beings the parameters such as adequate ventilation temperature sufficient light water and proper housing accommodation should be taken into account to maintain the dairy and poultry farm animals should be cut yes ஒரு நீ ஒரு மாடு வளர்க்குறேன்னா அதுக்கு என்னெல்லாம் தேவை மாட்டு அது வாழ்கிறதுக்கு ஒரு பிளேஸ் தேவை இஸ் இட் எஸ் ஒன் தே நீட் ஒன் ஹவுஸ் கே தென் ப்ராப்பர் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் லைட் தென் ஃபுட்டு தென் வெண்டிலேஷன் டெம்பரேச்சர் திஸ் ஆர் ஆல் தே வாண்ட் ஓகே ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் அனிமல்ஸ் ஷுட் பி கேட் அண்ட் ப்ரொடெக்டட் ஃப்ரம் தி டிசீசஸ் ரெக்கார்ட் ஷுட் பி மெயின்டைன் ஆஃப்டர் த ரெகுலர் விசிட் பை தி வெட்டினேரியன் மோர் ஓவர் த செலக்ஷன் ஆஃப் குட் பிரீட் வித் ஹை ஈல்டிங் பொட்டான்சியல் கம்பெயின் அண்ட் ரெசிஸ்டன்ட் டு டிசீஸ் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஸோ திஸ் ஆர் த மெயின் திங்ஸ் டு டு கண்டக்ட் டு கண்டக்ட் ஒன் பால்ட்ரி கே நெக்ஸ்ட் வி சி அபவுட் தி அனிமல் பிரீடிங் ஹியூமன் பீங்ஸ் ஹவ் பீன் டிபெண்டிங் ஆன் அனிமல்ஸ் அண்ட் அனிமல் ப்ராடக்ட் ஃபார் food from a very early times yes we depend uh, we depend human beings we are the human beings we depend mainly on the animals and animal product okay for food so generally high yielding animal produced by hybridization or reared in poultry and dairy farm in earlier days animal were produced and selected based on the specific character with the gain in knowledge on the principle of heredity and genetic human beings have been successful in rearing animal with the superior quality through the hybridization experiment complex issues are faced by <coughs> faced by the animal breeder during hybridization experiment hence the animal with maximum desirable quality uh, character should be selected romba adhiga valarchiyana character irukka kodiya animals da nam enna pannuvom we will be selected okay a group of animals related by descent and with the similar characters like general appearance features size etc are said to belong to a breed why should we breed animal though animal breeding improved breeds of animal can be produced by improving their genotype through the selecting breeding edukaga animal breed agudhu it can be improved their genotype okay through the selective breeding okay so next we have to see about the objectives of animal breeding what are the objectives of animal breeding to improve the growth rate okay improve the growth rate then enhancing the production of milk meat egg etc ப்ரீட் ஆக ஆக தான் என்னது கிடைக்கும் நமக்கு ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் மில்க்கு மீட்டு எக்கு எக்ஸெட்ரா ஓகே தென் இன்க்ரீசிங் த குவாலிட்டி ஆஃப் அனிமல் ப்ராடக்ட் குவாலிட்டி ஆஃப் அனிமல் ப்ராடக்ட் தென் இம்ப்ரூவ் த ரெசிஸ்டன்ட் டு டிசீசஸ் கே இம்ப்ரூவ் ரெசிஸ்டன்ட் டு டிசீசஸ் தென் இன்க்ரீஸ் த ரிப்ரொடக்டிவ் ரேட் ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் த மெயின் அப்ஜெக்டிவ்ஸ் ஆஃப் அனிமல் ப்ரீடிங் வாட் ஆர் தே இம்ப்ரூவ் த க்ரோத் ரேட் தென் என்ஹான்சிங் த ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் மில்க் மீட் எக் தென் இன்க்ரீசிங் த குவாலிட்டி ஆஃப் அனிமல் improved to uh, resistant to diseases then increase the reproductive rate okay so next we see about the methods of animal breeding okay here the methods of animal breeding is classified into two types one is in breeding and the another one is out breeding okay in breeding and out first we see about the in breeding a breeding between animals of the same breed for 4 to 6 generation is called in breeding ore species ku la breed pandradha enadhu in breeding for it takes about 4 to 6 generation okay underline that then <coughs> here here the in breeding increases homozygosity okay the inbreeding in- increases the homozygosity and exposes the harmful recessive genes okay it increases the homozygosity and exposes the harmful recessive genes continuous inbreeding reduces the fertility and even productivity okay here continuous inbreeding means it reduces the fertility and even productivity resulting in inbreeding depression this can be avoided by breeding selected animals of the breeding population and they should be mated with superior animals of the same breed but unrelated to the breeding population so it help to restore the fertility and 
yield okay so next we see about the outbreeding here the breeding between unrelated animal that is called as the outbreeding individual produce do not have common ancestor for 4 to 6 generation enna dhana in breeding na ore generation adha 4 to 6 generation ku la irukkudiya same species a breed panna vekkradha enna in breeding and out breeding na and the generation ipo oru maad eduthitona and the maad oda generation ne irukkuda okay so it is called as the out breeding here the out breeding help to produce new and favorable trait to produce the hybrid with superior quality and help to create the new breed new and favorable genes can be introduced into a population through the out breeding out breeding here first we see the out crossing it is the breeding between unrelated animal of the same breed but having no common ancestry species same but the generation is different so that is called as the out crossing the offspring of such cross is called as the out cross this method is suitable for breeding animal below average in productivity the next cross breeding here the breeding between a superior male of one breed with a superior female of another breed okay breeds are also different so here the cross breed progeny have superior trait that means hybrid vigor or heterosis hybrid okay that is called as the hybrid then interspecific hybridization here in this method of breeding mating is between male and female of two different species okay here the species is also different the progeny obtained from such crosses are different from their parents and may possess the desirable trait of the parents have you heard about mule it was produced by the process of interspecific hybridization between a male monkey and a female horse breeda மியூல் எப்படி கிடச்சிச்சு மேல் மங்கியும் ஃபீமேல் ஹார்ஸையும் கிராஸ் பண்ணும்போது இட் ப்ரொடியூசஸ் ஒன் ப்ராஜெனி தட் இஸ் கால்ட் அ மியூல் ஓகே தென் நெக்ஸ்ட் next we see about the controlled breeding experiment that is artificial insemination method here the artificial insemination is a technique in which the semen collected from the male is injected to the reproductive tract of the selected female okay idu artificial moolama fertilize fertilize pandrad okay this will be happen in human beings also okay we want to collect the uh collect the semen collect the semen means sperm okay semen from the male and injected that semen into the reproductive tract of the female okay then the artificial insemination is economical method where fewer bulls are required and maximum use can be made or the best side okay so here the thawing means to melt or become liquid when the semen collected for artificial insemination is taken to far off far off places stored for a long time in frozen condition it should be brought to room temperature slowly before use this process is called thawing thawing na nena அந்த செமனை கலெக்ட் பண்ணிட்டு போ ஆர்டிஃபிஷியல் இன்செமினேஷனுக்காக அந்த செமனை கலெக்ட் பண்ணிட்டு போகும்போது ரொம்ப தூரமான இடத்துக்கு அதை கொண்டு போகும்போது இட் வில் பி ஃப்ரோஜன் ஓகே ஃப்ரோசன் ஆகும் அப்போ திரும்ப அது ரூம் டெம்பரேச்சருக்கு அதை கொண்டு வரன்றது தான் அந்த ப்ராசஸ் தட் ப்ராசஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் தி டாவிங் ஓகே த நெக்ஸ்ட் வி சி அபவுட் தி அட்வான்டேஜஸ் ஆஃப் ஆர்டிஃபிஷியல் இன்செமினேஷன் ஓகே இட் இன்க்ரீசஸ் த ரேட் கான்சன்ஸ் கன்சம்ஷன் நெக்ஸ்ட் இட் அவாய்ட் ஜெனிட்டல் டிசீசஸ் தென் செமன் கேன் பி கலெக்டட் ஃப்ரம் இன்ஜூர்ட் பூல் which have desirable trait then superior animal located apart can be breed successfully so these are the advantages of insemination artificial insemination next we see about the multiple ovulation embryo okay multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology that is called as the moet multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology okay it is another method of propagation of animal with a desired desirable trait this method is applied when the success rate of crossing is low even after the artificial insemination in this method follicle stimulating hormone is administered to cows for inducing follicular maturation and super ovulation okay instead of one egg per cycle 6 to 8 egg can be produced by this technology <coughs> normally in normal it produces one egg means by using this method it produces 6 to 8 egg okay then the eggs are carefully recovered non surgically from the genetic mother and fertilized artificially okay fertilized artificially 
then here the embryos at 8 to 32 cell dx are recovered and transferred to a surrogate mother for another round of ovulation the same genetic mother is utilized this technology can be applied sheep and buffaloes advantage of this technology is to produce high milk adhigama pal sorakka kodiya maadugal vandu indha method moolama da produce pandra okay then yielding females high milk yielding females and high quality meat yielding bulls in a short time okay then next we see about the breeds of dairy animals breeds of dairy animals okay Okay, this topic uh, we see tomorrow. Tomorrow we see this breeds of dairy milk. Okay, in this class what we see, we see about the prawn culture. Isn't it? Yes, what is mean by prawn culture? To cultivate the prawn is called as the prawn culture. Okay, the major uh, prawn found in this in fresh water is called as the Macrobrachian rosenbergii. Okay, <coughs> Macrobrachian rosenbergii. Okay. Here, uh, the prawn culture is classified into the type. There are four types of prawn culture. Prawn fishery is there. What are they? Shallow water from prawn fishery. Then estuaries and backwaters are prawn fishery. Freshwater prawn fishery and marine prawn fishery. Okay. Then what are the species of prawns are found in India? That is called as the Penis indicus, Penis monodon, Metapenis jobsoni, and Macrobrachium rosenbergii. Okay. Then culture of freshwater prawn. The next we see about the culture of marine prawn then how will prepare the uh, farm okay how will you prepare the farm okay that is called the preparation of farm okay then next we see about the pearl culture here pearl is a white highly shining globular concretion it is found within the cell of an oyster okay here the pearl oysters are the sedimentary animals it was first uh, cultured in Tutukudi. okay first culture at Tutukudi. then here the major uh, high quality pearls are obtained from the genus pink pink tada okay pink tada oyster okay then next uh, the pearl produce the pearl beads produce best quality pearl that is called as the linga pearl then how the pearl will formed okay how it formed first the foreign particle that accidentally enter into the space of mantle means and the cell of the oyster the mantle adheres that then it produces a sac like the epithelium. The mantle epithelium encloses and it produces a sac and start to secrete one concentric layer. That concentric layer is called as the nacre. Okay. Now the nacre is secreted continuously by epithelial layer of the mantle and is deposited ar an around the foreign particle. And over a period time, the formation of repeated layers of calcium carbonate will be formed on that hard and glossy pearl. Okay. After that, when the pearl enlarges, the oyster will be die. Okay. The, the cell is then carefully opened and the pearls are manually separated and graded. So, this is the formation of pearl. Next, we see the composition of pearl. What are the components that present in the pearls are water, organic matter, calcium carbonate and other residue. Okay. Here, uh, water 2 to 4 percentage are present in the pearl. Organic matter 3.5 to 5.9 percentage is present. Then calcium carbonate 90 percentage is present. Okay. The remaining residue particle is 0 0.1 to 0.8 percentage. Okay, then the quality of pearl. Okay, when compared to fresh water, uh, when compared to fresh water pearl, marine water, uh, marine oysters are produced, marine oysters are only produce the high quality pearl. Okay, here the pearls are obtained out of variable shapes and sizes. The colors are also different. Okay, they may be white, cream red, pink red or colors are produced. Okay, the most rarely found pearls are spherical pearl. It is rainbow in color. Okay, it is a rarely found Pearl. Okay. Then next we see about the animal husbandry and management. In this we see about the animal breeding. Two types of breedings are there. One is inbreeding and another one is outbreeding. Then what are the objectives of animal breeding? Then next we see the what is inbreeding, what is outbreeding. Outbreeding it contain outcrossing, cross breeding, then interspecific hybridization. Then what are the then next we see the uh, artificial insemination then what are the advantages of artificial insemination then next we see the multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology that is called as the MOET MOET then next ok 
okay this m um, okay okay students have you all understand okay tomorrow we see the breeds of dairy animals okay okay now it's a time for your homework i give you take your zoology book and take page number 129 okay take page number 129 so i think this is the seventh unit yes take this uh, page number 129 seventh unit i give five question for your homework and study work okay first question distinguish between arteries and veins 16th question distinguish between arteries and veins next 17th question distinguish between open and closed circulation distinguish between open and closed circulation then 18th question distinguish between mitral valve and semi lunar valve okay 16th question 17th question 18th question then 22 question 22nd okay what is limb righty function what is limb righty function then 23rd question what are the heart sound when and how these how are these sounds produced what are the heart sound then and how are these sounds produced so totally five questions are there you have to study this question and write in your zoology note okay so 16th question 17th question 18 22 and 23 okay five book back question only okay study well okay thank you students